potentially the most useless medication that can be bought right now. This is docusate sodium and it's marketed as a stool softener. And this gets so confusing because a lot of people think that this is a laxative and it's not, but it's supposed to be a stool softener, but it doesn't work. So there's a lot, a lot of confusion with this medication. I'm Grant Harding, I'm a licensed pharmacist in three states and I'm a drug pricing expert. And I like to make, show you guys different tips so you can make better decisions when purchasing medication. This little idiot I have right here has been the bane of my existence for possibly 17 days. I recently made a video on TikTok and it blew up and everybody's like, no, 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 it actually does work. It's not a laxative, it's a stool softener. It works as a stool softener. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for either. So I'll show you all about that. But first, let's actually see why this doesn't work. Man's all kitted up, ready to do some science. Oh, I just, I have to, I have to check the peel apart label. I love it when they do this. Gosh, that's so professional to me. All right, let's get these red little jelly beans out of here. Hey, what do you think's better for uh, stool softening? Jelly beans or DocuSafe? Unfortunately, it'd probably be jelly beans. So I'm just gonna get one or two out here just to show you why it's useless. This is just a Rego syringe. Plug that bad boy in. Careful not to stab myself. Ow! I actually, okay. I actually did. All right, well, let's here. Let's be smart about this and lay it down. And then stab myself. And no, I'm just kidding. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, these are a lot smaller than last time I did this. I bought a different brand last time. Okay, so I got me hole in there. Now, as I squeeze this out, I think you'll be able to tell why it's useless. Okay, you see that? Now, I'm just touching my finger to it. Do you see how easily it rubs on my finger? Do you know what it is yet? If that wasn't obvious, let me just poke a couple more here and put these in the container. Here, that should be enough. This is just some ordinary everyday water. And I just put a little, little bit in there and look, you can see already. Here, let me shake this up. It's just soap. It's all it is, it's just soap. Now, does DocuSate being soap mean it's ineffective? Apparently. You know, I, like most people, thought, well, of course it's soap, that makes sense. You, you have hard stool, this is a stool softener. If you lubricate something, if you put something that has a hydrophobic tail and a hydrophilic head, or vice versa, around something that you want to come out easier, I mean, that makes perfect logical sense, doesn't it? But unfortunately, the studies show that this does nothing. Here, we'll hop into the computer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, let's see what the science says. So if you Google, does DocuSate work? You know, you'll get your little AI thing here and you'll see some things that maybe may make you think it does work. You know, DocuSate is, medical, or is medication used in managing, treating constipation. So if you, when you click on this link, I mean, this looks promising, right? Stool softener class, it reduces surface tension, big words of the oil and water interface with the stool. You know, that all looks promising. And I can see where somebody could read this and feel confident. I mean, this is a pretty not, or pretty um, uh, reputable source here. Um, but I mean, whenever you look at real studies, I mean, here's one from the American Journal of Gastroenterology. Is that good enough for everybody? Um, let's see, when was this published? 2021, is that recent enough for everybody? Does anybody know these guys? Johnson McCrory? Keep doing the Lord's work. 
Uh, Kyle Sloan. Oh, we got a Farm D in the house. Let's get it. Uh, what is this? J. Kyle? Is that the Farm D person? All right. It doesn't do anything. Look, uh, when you just look at the conclusion here, it is a misconception that DocuSate softens hard stools in constipation. The totality of clinical evidence shows that DocuSate is not different from placebo. Patients would be better served by an effective stool softening therapy. And what this goes on to say here is actually uh, psyllium husk, I believe, is what they recommend. Then apparently psyllium significantly increased stool water content from 70.7% at baseline to 73.7%. I'm assuming that's relevant. I'm just going to trust the study here. I don't care enough to actually look into this because I already know what the answer is that I'm trying to find, and it's that DocuSate does not work. So here's a little graphy poo right there. A lot of people also wanted to know, if it does nothing, why'd your doctor tell you to take it? Why'd your pharmacist tell you to take it? Why did you get a prescription for it? And I think this is a case of it just being so ingrained in our culture, our habits, uh, we don't want to go without it. It, it. it has somehow found its place into a standard of care. And then after that point, we discover that it doesn't do anything. So I, I think it's just a habit at this point. But I will say this. One, I mean, it's completely harmless and people love that. I mean, come on, like, how can you, how can you tell someone no to something that's very harmless if they want to use it? I mean... And um, the second thing is I have seen, now this is just anecdotal, this is just from me talking to people, that there are a lot of institutions like hospitals, etc., that have taken this off of their formulary, meaning they don't use it anymore. People also want to know how is this legal? You know, how can something that is useless be legally sold and prescribed? And this is very, very old. Um, it's, it got grandfathered in, basically. This has been around since the dawn of time. Not really. But it has been around long enough that it was prior to any sort of standards that we had that required safety and efficacy. It's just one of those things that's been around forever. So if it's not going to help me uh, soften my stool, then what is it used for? Or what can it be used for? Well, I saw briefly in some of our research that although it is a surfactant, um, it was apparently marketed originally or developed originally as a soap. Like, I, I didn't look too far into this, but I did see that that was part of the plan at one point for this chemical. So I have it in here. I, oh, I have some in here, basically. So let's blow some bubbles. All right, here we go. Oh! Oh, that was a big one, but it didn't come off the, the bubble stick. Is that the technical term? I'm a pharmacist, not a bubbler. Oh my gosh, that did nothing. Oh, I feel like that scene from SpongeBob SquarePants. Stop on your right foot. Don't forget it. Oh, now it's time to bring it around town. Oh, oh, we got a couple. Oh. You, you, I don't think you guys got to see that one. Oh, pretty. Oh, that was a big one. Okay, I need some more. I need some more docusate in my liquid. <laughs> I'll see you in a second. I am a mess of a man. Here, let's get a couple more of these bad boys. That, that's where I was messing up. I forgot the pelvic thrust. All right, let's try this out. Oh, that was a big daddy. <laughs> it's a giraffe. I can't get him to come off the bone. <laughs> you guys enjoying this? Just watching me blow docusate bubbles? Oh, okay, we got a little one there. Went outside the screen. Dang it. Oh, look at that big one. I think that's safe to say that's an effective use of docusate. All right, I got one more thing I want to try. But I'm going to need some more docusate. Now, I am not going to spend 
my entire life trying to open each and every single one of these. And lest we not forget, these were designed to open in a physiological medium, aka a stomach. So let's just let that... Why is it... Look. Wow. This be a good time-lapse video. Okay, let me just let this sit for a little bit, and we'll back, be back in a minute, and I'll show you what I want to do with it. Three hours later. Let's get down to business. We need to find a second use for this useless medication. What we have here are a couple of dirty items. A cup, which you can't even tell is dirty. That's why I have this spoon, which I used for... Don't worry about it. All right, and here I have my DocuSate water con concoction. Very, very red. <laughs> and let's see how effective this is at just regular old being regular old dish soap. Oh my gosh. Wow, that that gives ASMR vibes like that's got to have enough on it, right? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um I mean, it doesn't smell atrocious. Whatever, let's just wash this off real quick. Let's try this again. I mean, <laughs> it kind of works, I guess. Look at that. You can even see my reflection in there. Hi. Hi. Very glad that you watched this pointless video. Okay, everyone quit screwing around. It's time to be professional. As a stool softener, I will give this a 0 out of 10. As a bubble uh, soap, I will give it a 5 out of 10. The frequency of the bubbles just wasn't there for me, but when I did get one, they were, they were big, girthy bubbles, so that's something that perhaps the bubble industry is lacking at this moment. I'm not really sh too sure. And as a cleaning mechanism, like for dishes and whatnot, I'm going to give that a 2 out of 10. It was effective, but it... I want a flavored soap, or I want a scented soap. I want something that smells nice. That did not smell nice. There you have it, folks. Another interesting video i hope that educated you on a medication even though it was useless stick around i got tons of stuff like this coming up <laughs>